Hey guys, Pin Master here. I'm gonna go over some old stuff and how I brought it new. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk about some old school Kaji Kempo techniques, which were devastating in the old Kaji Kempo days, um, and how I brought them into today. Now, I'm gonna talk about the hammer blow. And anyone that knows anything about Kaji Kempo back in the old days in Hawaii knows that hammer blows were a very well-known uh, technique in our arsenal. Hammer is right here. Anything that's hit with this part of the hand right here, that's a hammer fist, okay? So you can do a downward hammer blow, a side hammer blow, in hammer blow, out hammer blow, circular hammer blow, back hammer blow. You can do all kinds of hammer blows, and we trained them all. But I've taken some out of the equation. Like, I don't ever see a reason ever to do an inward hammer blow. I just don't. I, I'd rather throw a hook. I don't think I get any power there, and so I took it away. The circular hammer blow, I don't know, I might use it someday, but I don't think so, and I don't train it because there's too many other things that, that are important to me. Um, a back hammer blow, I don't really teach it or train it, but it, it, it could be instinctual where I've used it, but it's not something I train. But I do train the outward hammer blow, and I'll show you why in a sec, the side hammer blow, and the downward hammer blow. Okay, I use that one a lot. Um, I'm gonna show you all three, but I'm gonna start with the outward hammer blow. The outward hammer blow, I would never use bare fisted. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit someone like this, I'd rather hit them like that. But, if I had a weapon, Let's say, I, since, let's say I was on a plane or, or I was in a situation where I couldn't get anything but my handy dandy tactical pen. You can use a regular pen too, but this one's probably a little stronger. It'll probably go into the skull a little bit more. Okay? So, if I had to use a, 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 a tactical pen, you could use any hammer blow with this and it's going to hurt. But I would prefer an outward hammer blow. An outward hammer blow would be practiced like this. And say I'm in a situation and I, have, and I have my tactical pen or even a regular pen or anything pointy, I would use a, a technique like that. Try to hurt someone, hit them in the face, maybe the eye, if I was in a life or death situation. So that's the only time I could think of where I would use an outward hammer blow is if I had a, a technique. I mean, a, a tactical pen. You could also use, say, a, the guy's over here around your leg and he's trying to take you down. Not in an MMA fight, but in a real life situation. You can use a down hammer blow with your tactical pen too. So hammer blows can be used with something in your hand and then it's a much more effective weapon. So the outward hammer blow I might use. Say somebody's attacking me, this is all I have. I might just go for their face with this, with this technique right here, okay? So that's the outward hammer blow. Now, let's talk about the downward hammer blow. The downward hammer blow can be used in a lot of different ways. I would never use it against a standing opponent where I'm trying to hit him like that. That's not when I'd use it. But, same way opponent, I'm gonna show you on uh, Adrian. Say somebody's in, in, in going in for a double, okay? Say he's, getting, he's going real, if he's right here, I got the elbow. Okay, if he was lower on my leg and I couldn't get, quite get the elbow, it was a little too low because I didn't want to drop there, that's when the hammer blow would come in. Okay, this would be a downward hammer blow. Or even say he was on the ground and say he had my leg and he was back on his back and he was trying to do something with my leg, some kind of leg lock or something. Right here, I would try to do a downward hammer blow. Okay, more, more efficient than punching in that position to me I can generate more power and I don't hurt my hand, okay? So, I would use a downward hammer blow when your opponent is too far away for an elbow. If he was right here, right, I'd use the elbow. If he's a little farther down, I would start using a downward hammer blow. Another time I might use a downward hammer blow if it turned into some kind of wrestling, something, and I got a hold of an arm. Say I'm here and I got his arm here and I bring his arm and I just want to try to hurt him really quickly, I might try to do a downward hammer blow and try to break his arm. So down, that's what I'd use the downward hammer blow. So I showed you the downward hammer blow and the outward hammer blow. Now we have the side hammer blow. 
The side hammer blow is just hitting someone to the side. And I'll show you the most, uh, the most common time I'd use a side hammer blow isn't if somebody's on the side of me. Because even though that's how I learned the side hammer blow, to be honest, if someone was standing over here and I wanted to fight them, I would turn and face them. <laughs> now, I might be fighting this guy, and then this guy comes and I'm doing a side hammer blow. Okay, you could stretch that one. But that's not when I'd use a side hammer blow. The most common way I would use a side hammer blow is if somebody was even in front of me, but during the scuffle, and you know, you can't always put the person where you want them to be. Sometimes you're fighting a guy next to you, you know he's off to your side, and you're scrambling, then I would do a side hammer blow in that position. Or if I'm even facing him straight on, and I say I missed the punch, and I ended up in this position here. Okay, if he was really close, I'd use an elbow, but if he was middle distance away, I'd come back with a side hammer blow. Like if I missed a hook, come back with a side hammer blow. Miss a hook, come back with a side hammer blow. Okay, so that's the most common hammer blows that I would use today. The side hammer blow, the downward hammer blow, and the outward hammer blow, okay? So let me show you how I train those three hammer blows right about now. All right guys, let's talk about training the downward hammer blow. Um, if somebody's on the ground and you were to hit them, where you might hurt them, um, if it's not an MMA match, if it's a street fight, you need to explain to the, to the court why you were hitting someone that was on the ground. And there's a lot of reasons you might have to. I mean, for, for all you know, he might get up, he might have a weapon, he might have friends, so you're trying to disable him for a lot of different reasons. Just make sure you have a good reason. But anyway, the way I'd like to train the downward hand blow is on, on just any kind of bag that's on the ground. Because you're going down. Okay, and it helps to build up the, the power and it builds up your bone structure. The more you hit bags, the, the denser and stronger your, bat, your, your hands become. Okay? Google it. Wolf's principle. Okay, two F's. Anyway, so I got I, to practice it, you just, just hit it with down hand blow. Just downward hand blows. That's how you practice it. And if you want to get in different positions, like say the guy was grabbing your leg and you're standing up here, you can practice it that way too. There's all kinds of different ways to practice the downward hand blow, but the most common way is just get something on the ground and just hit it. Okay? Now let me show you how I practice my side hammer blow and my outward hammer blow. Okay. Alright guys, now I'm gonna show you the side hammer blow how it's used in, in a practical situation, and I'm going to show you the outward hammer blow, how I would use that in a practical situation. Okay? The side hammer blow is, even if I'm fighting someone straight on, I could use a side, side hammer blow. Because if I missed a hook and I'm right here, he's too far for an elbow, he's too close for a kick, so I'm going to come back with a side hammer blow. Tight fist, you're hitting with this part of your hand, and I'm going to swing the hip. Okay. I don't just use the arm, I swing my whole body, okay? Sometimes even my forearm hits, okay? Say I miss the left hook, and I can miss the right hook, okay? And I'll just practice it that way. Sometimes I switch, I switch feet and I just practice it with both sides, okay? That is a side hand blow, and that can be a brutal, a brutal strike. If you miss a hook, the guy thinks he rushes in with his hands down because he thinks he has an opportunity, and all of a sudden he runs into that. Okay, so that's my side hand blow. My outward hand blow now a little different. I'm not going to just hit someone like this. Okay, you're not going to hurt him very much. This is when I have something in my hand. Anything from a knife to a pen. Any kind of sharp object, it's a street fight, it's life or death, I want to I puncture his face, his eyes, even his skull if I can. I want to puncture him because this is life or death. So this is the time where I would use the outward hammer blow with something in my hand. Let's pretend this is a real tactical pen with a very sharp edge, okay? This is his eyes, right, about here, okay? So we're fighting as hard as you can. Okay. 
That's the Alwood Hammerblow. Okay? So, old school Kaja Kempa, we use a lot of hammer blows. I don't use as many as I used to, but I still love the hammer blow. I still love the power of it. I still love that you can hit really hard with this part of your hand. I mean, try to hit the concrete like this and then hit it like this. You're gonna break a lot easier like this. So sometimes when you're hitting hammer blows when you wanna protect your hand. Like if the guy's on the ground, a lot of times it's safer to hit him with a hammer blow than punch him. Because if he moves an inch while you're hitting him on the ground, a lot of times you can break your hand. So hammer blows are a great training weapon, a, lot, a great fighting weapon, and, and, and you should be training them in your martial arts. Train the hammer blow, go back to old school Kajikempo, and thanks for coming, guys.